Hello and welcome to this week's Tuesday with Teaching and Learning. The video today is going to be a little bit different than what we've done in the past because we're not in a classroom today. Instead of highlighting the remarkable experiences that you put on each and every day here in Jackson County Schools, we're going to highlight a process that we use that requires your feedback so that we can better support you to create those remarkable experiences for students in your classroom. And part of that process involves getting feedback from you. So we greatly appreciate when you do give us that feedback. Um, as you can see, we have a list of resources and we shared those out through the Instructional Prioritization of Professional Learning Roll Call and you gave us feedback and we, we look at that very closely but we also triangulate that data with engagement data, meaning how, how engaged are the students specifically when we're talking about digital resources what kind of usage are we getting? And then also what is uh, relatively new to our process this year is a return on instruction and a return on investment. So we look at performance data, we look at our financial investment, and then we, we're able to prioritize the list of resources that we can put back into your hands. And, and I, I want to reiterate something that came across loud and clear when we received the feedback. And that is that we heard people really want the opportunity to dig in and get really good at using the resources that we currently have. So the teaching and learning mantra moving forward specifically into next year is let's stay the course. Let's keep on track with the, the resources that we've provided, those that we know are effective, those that you value, those that are showing a great return on instruction and return on investment, and let's not add a bunch of new stuff next year. That, that also largely applies to professional learning. We rolled out a good number of initiatives and resources especially especially at uh, the elementary level and we realize that teachers are very overwhelmed I'm, I'm excited that we're able to put those resources in your hand but again moving into next year it's just really being able to get closer to that personalization of professional learning now we're not there yet that's that's a long journey but the idea being that we blanketed everyone with the same same training initially but now to be able to tailor it to grade levels individuals and to be able to provide that specific on-time, just-in-time support when you need it. On behalf of the teaching and learning team here in Jackson County, I would like to thank each and every one of you for creating remarkable experiences for all of our students. I would also like to give a special thanks for those of you who provided feedback through this roll call process. And as promised, we said that we would choose randomly uh, three winners, one from elementary, one from middle, and one from high school, and those winners would receive $250 to either go towards instructional resources in their classroom or to attend a professional learning event of their choice uh, up to that $250. And so we are going to choose those names randomly now. So let's see for our elementary prioritization roll call participants. Our winner is... Melanie McMurray at East Jackson Elementary School. Our middle school winner is Amy Bowden at West Jackson Middle School. And our high school winner is Jean Wall at East Jackson Comprehensive High School. Congratulations, Jean. If all of our winners would please reach out to Brenda Williams for next steps on how to use this $250 for either instructional resources or professional learning. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you on our next stop on a tour of Remarkability throughout Jackson County Schools.